Hello and welcome to the Void XRC video. Thanks for tuning in. So as you can probably see, it looks like a little bit of a mess here with the WO Toys 12 428. So I'm sort of just refilming an intro that I filmed yesterday and then accidentally deleted. So that was a bit of a mistake. Well, anyways, let me just go over what, what's happened here. If you guys remember my video where I was running this on 3S on the street, I said I'd take it down to the park and do some bashing. So that's what I did the other day. And pretty much right away I started noticing it wasn't, the vehicle wasn't running right. Definitely was having a few gear problems and stuff. So I got a little bit of footage of that, which I'll show you guys in a few seconds. But anyways, so I did a video yesterday tearing everything down and trying to find the problem. And deleted the intro, unfortunately. So after you guys see a little bit of running footage at the park, which there really isn't very much, then you'll see the rest of the video I filmed yesterday. So here's the footage now. It's not running very well. She's giving me that one wheel. So I've definitely damaged some gears inside there. So after driving it around for a bit, I quickly realized I was not getting proper power to the wheels at all. Let me just show you what I mean. You look here, I'm going to hold this front wheel and I'm going to spin this and you should see the back wheel spin too if all the diffs were in good condition but it's obviously not. Same thing if I do it this way, same thing on the rear if I hold one, get nothing. Let me just show you on a vehicle that's working properly. So if I hold one wheel, back wheel spin, same thing on the front. That's what should happen when all the gears are actually working properly. As you can see on this, they are not. Not at all. I was literally only getting power out of this one tire here. Nothing else would give me power. If I held the vehicle, <coughs> excuse me, if I hold the vehicle in the air, all the wheels would spin, but as soon as I put any sort of pressure on the wheels, it's only getting power out of this one wheel here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the diffs. All right, well, let's start getting into the rear diff here and see what kind of damage we got. Well, everything on the outside of the diff looks good. So these gears actually look in really good shape. I don't... That's quite odd. I wonder what this gear looks like. Get these screws out of the way. That gear looks like it's in good shape too still. So what is this gear?
So all those gears, they don't look like they're having any trouble. I'm not sure where I was getting that slip from in my drivetrain. Well, I guess, gonna, oops, guess I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the um, front diff and we'll see if it's in the same condition or not. And I'm a little per perplexed as to why the rear diff looked, all the gears looked pretty much perfect because it did not feel that way when I was driving it, but let me get the front diff out and then we'll have another look. I just figured out where I'm getting my slip from. Now the gear on the end of the shaft is not held on prop is not held on properly anymore. As you can see I can spin it. So that's where the problem is. Definitely. That should not be spinning. Just gonna see if I can clean this up a little bit more. I bet you I wore this completely out. Right, let's go ahead and take off this gear. If I can, okay, this is gonna be a bit of a problem. So while trying to get the screw out of here that holds this gear on. I uh, broke the screw there, as you can see, there's the head of the screw. So I can probably get the gear off now, but there's no way I'll be getting that screw out of this shaft. Yes, you can see where it was worn down. You can see the two notches in the drive shaft there. Come on, focus. It was to go into a groove in there, but it's completely worn it out, so it's round, so that just slips. So that's where my power loss is coming from. All right, so just pulling the front diff apart here, and it looks, the gears themselves look really nice. Don't look any, doesn't look like there's any problem with them, but I'm willing to bet you I'm gonna have slip in the same way I had slip in the rear diff. Let me just grab this gear lightly and see if this is the one that slips. This gear does not seem to be the one that's slipping. Let's just pull out these gears. Let's see if we can get this one out and see if this is the one that was slipping. Oh, this is going to be hard to get out too, just like the last one. hope I don't break the screw off in it again. I think I'm going to break the screw if I try and get this out. Yep. So I guess I'm buying new diffs. Because I'm not repairing this now. And as you can see. Focus. There used to be a place in two, two notches in the plastic for this to slide into, and those have been worn, so it's just a nice circle in there, so this thing could just spin. So that's where my power loss was from. Well, it's glad, I'm glad that I figured that out. I know where the power loss was actually from. So I'm guessing I'm getting new diffs for this vehicle. I hope you guys found this video informative. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.